Hey guys, welcome to this week's tip video. This week's question comes from Robert and he asks, what do you do for lighting and how do you keep from fighting shadows when you're tooling? So we're gonna talk about lighting here. I'm actually gonna show you a little bit of a shop setup. Uh, light, we're gonna include lighting, but we're gonna talk about a few different things when setting up a shop. As you can see, this is a new background for you. You haven't seen this, and this is actually just a temporary background. So we're over here in the new building, but we're waiting on some floors to get dried before we move everything into there. So we had to set up a little temporary shop to make shift and get some stuff done here in the next couple days. So I wanna show you what we're looking at when we're set up a shop, a few things to consider, and one being lighting. So that's the main focus on this is gonna be lighting. But we think about what we're gonna set up. We need to set up our work service. So our, our tooling spot, we're gonna have our marble, which we have our bench that has the marble inset in it that we brought over from the other shop. So that part is still the same. But where do we place that at? So looking at lighting, depending on what space you're in, we're gonna look for here we have some windows on each side here that are shining some natural light in so i want to take advantage of that natural light turn that bench to where that natural light's coming in towards the front of my bench there we'll get we're going to see what overhead lighting we have in here the best overhead lighting we have again is right up above me here the rest of them are a little bit smaller not quite as bright so my bench is held back just from that but then supplemental lighting is crucial when you're fighting shadows because it doesn't matter how good a lighting we have above you and how well lit your work surface is, as soon as you put your hands in place to work, you're gonna create your own shadows. So that's where the extra lighting is gonna come into play. A few other things to consider when you're setting up your shop, power. What machines do you need to plug in? Where is that power at? And trying to set up things where you're not going back and forth and back and forth, right? Be smooth with your process. So in here, we set up a cut table, then we have our workbench and punch station and sewing machines across the back there. So we have access to all of our power, especially with our lighting here, we're gonna go over and look at our supplemental lighting and show you how I set that up to avoid those shadows. Let's take a look. So this is the back of these lights that I'm about to show you here, but these are the newer, newer, I don't know how you say it, but that's the brand that they are. And the model number is the NL660. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can get these at if you're interested in them, but they're really great lights. They have these dimmers on here, just your on off switch. We can run to power with the cord or you can get the batteries and run them straight off a battery if you're at a place where you don't have uh, power to plug into. But we always have power to plug into, so I haven't even, never worried about the batteries in there. But again, you can adjust your white light, your yellow light, and they rotate and go up and down with the telescoping stand on there as well. So I'll show you how I place them when I'm tooling. All right, when I'm sitting at my bench with these two lights, where I like to put them is over each shoulder. And that's gonna protect all my shadowing from my hands here because my light's coming in this direction, right at my work surface there. So even with my tool in hand, which in this place is my microphone, and my mall, we're not making any shadows there. So I'm gonna shut these off. I'm gonna bring you around so you can see where you normally see from when I'm tooling. And then I'm gonna show you with the lights off and then we'll show you with the lights on. So right here you can see without our lights on, without our supplemental lighting, as good as we have above us with light, as soon as we go to tool, we've created a ton of shadow in there. So now I'm gonna reach back and we'll flip both of these lights on. First I'll show you one, that's over my left shoulder. Just that one helps quite a bit, but we can still see some shadowing in here. So we're gonna turn on the other one. Now look how much that shadowing goes away. We can see our lines nice and bright. We can see the face of that tool right where that's going in to our leather at, completely taking away that shadow. So again, these are the lights I use. You don't have to have them, but whatever lights you use coming over your shoulders like that is really gonna help. 
Now, if you're on a little tighter budget, but still wanting to get rid of your shadows, hey, get your good old fashioned headlamp that goes on and it's gonna put that lighting right straight here as well. You're gonna have to adjust that angle just a little bit, but it's gonna help a ton compared to just straight overhead lighting. So again, hope this helps you guys set up your uh, shop a little bit and get away from those shadows. Robert, appreciate the great question. Can't wait to see you guys on another video.